Everyone is currently talking about Clubhouse. In this video, I will walk you through the steps necessary to integrate Clubhouse into your live streaming sessions using the Restream Live Studio. This video is brought to you by Restream. Learn more about how Restream can help you with your live streaming needs by checking out the Restream playlist with it in the info card or staying up until the end of this video. Before we get into the technical details of how to bring Clubhouse into your live stream, here is one important thing you need to know. The terms of use of Clubhouse state that you agree to not record any portion of conversation without the express written consent of all of the speakers involved. With that in mind, make sure that all your guests who invite to your Clubhouse session, which is also streamed or recorded, are aware of the fact that they are recorded and agree to you doing so. All right, with the legal situation clear, let's jump into the more technical bits and pieces. Here is a quick schematic overview. On one side, we have Clubhouse running on an iOS device. Sorry, no Android app yet. On the other side, we have my computer, which is running the Restream Live Studio to easily live stream right from our web browser. And now we need to somehow get Clubhouse connected with our Restream Live Studio. As we learned in our earlier Clubhouse videos, we can use the iRig 2 to connect external microphones and speakers. I simply connected the headphone output of the iRig 2 to the microphone input of my computer, as well as the iRig 2 input to the output of my computer. I'm using the built-in 3.5 mm headphone and microphone check of my computer. In case your computer does not have a dedicated audio check, worry not, you can get inexpensive USB sound cards from Amazon, which can do the job just fine. By the way, a link to them down there in the video description. Now where Clubhouse is connected to our computer, we need to tell our computer what to do with the audio. And this is the moment in which we need additional audio routing software to make this happen. For my Windows setup, I'm using a tool called VoiceMeter Banana. If you are a Mac user, you can achieve the same thing using the tool Loopback. So let's jump into my VoiceMeter and I'm going to show you what I set up to make this thing work. All right, so on my computer, this is VoiceMeter Banana. I will try to explain my setup as good as I can so everybody's understanding it, even though you probably never worked with VoiceMeter Banana before. So what this is, this is our audio mixer and let's go through it from left to right. So first we have like three physical inputs, three hardware inputs, which are currently set to my Rode Procaster, which is the microphone I'm using right here, the iPad, which is gonna get to that in a second, and a third input, which is currently not set. We don't need it, that's why there is a red mute button. Then we also do have two um, virtual audio streams, which is basically our PC audio, there where Windows is prompting you with sounds or you play back your Spotify playlist. And there's also a virtual channel, which is the live studio, which is grabbed by the live studio. We're just going to take a look at that in a second. Then on the second one, A2, this is my iPad. We get to that just in a sec. And A3 is my headphones, so I can actually hear people talk to me when I'm doing like something like a Discord or a live stream. So this is me hearing my system. And there is even the indicator that currently my voice is being picked up on input one. So what I now do is I do route this input. Uh, we can route inputs or we can route all your signals using those buttons over here. So what I do, I do route this input, my voice currently to A2. A2 we learned is our second output, which is over here. The second output is the 3.5 millimeter output on my computer, which then is plugged into the iRix2 input. My microphone currently gets routed directly to the iRig2 using a cable we plugged in. And secondly, I also route my voice input from my microphone to B1, and B1 would be here, the virtual one, which is Live Studio. So I route that to our Live Studio. 
let's take a look at our live studio for a moment. So we go to the Restream Live Studio and in here, we already see that my voice is obviously be picked up and the way I set this up is in the settings of that live studio. I set the audio input to voice meter output VB audio voice meter and that name corresponds to the name we have here of our live studio voice meter VAIO. So the audio I route from my microphone to B1 gets over here and from here will be picked up by our live studio. So if I would disable B1 now, uh, Restream Live Studio would not get any voice anymore. So let's do that real quick. Let's disable this and we'll see that there is currently no voice, no audio signal getting to the Restream Live Studio. So let's enable that again and we see we're now having again voice in the Live Studio. So let's continue with the iPad setup. Over here we have physical hardware input number two, which is set to iPad. And that's nothing else than just the physical 3.5 millimeter microphone check on my computer, which has a cable which is plugged into the output of the iRig 2. So what the iRig 2 is outputting to us is getting directly into my computer into the microphone input and then once more we have to route this audio. So we want to be able to hear what Clubhouse is doing on our iPad and we can obviously not do that because the headphone check is occupied by the cable which is going directly into my computer. So what I have to do here is I have to route that audio from our iPad to output number three. And as we learned, a free output number three is my headphones. So I will be able to listen to the Clubhouse conversation on the headphones of my computer because we route that audio through voice meter to my headphones. That's also why we haven't routed my voice from my microphone to A3 because I don't want to hear myself talk. So that's why A3 here is not enabled, but A3 here is. I'm able to hear the iPad, or in this case Clubhouse, on my headphone. Secondly, we of course also routed it then to B1. B1 again corresponds to the live studio, which then can be picked up in Restream Live Studio and the viewers can actually hear the conversation going on on Restream. So in case anyone is joining me in that live stream, either do the Restream Live Studio, which is super easy to do. We can simply invite people by clicking the invite guest uh, link and simply share the invitation link to your guests so they can join you in this website so that those guests are being audible in Clubhouse. We need to account for that as well. So we do that by having the PC audio. So people which are talked to me through Discord or the Restream Live Studio, they're basically mixed into the audio of my computer. And that audio of my computer is picked up here in the voice meter AUX. Uh, we again do route that and uh, we do route it to my iPad. So the people in Clubhouse will hear my guests or me playing music or whatever I do on my Windows computer, the people in Clubhouse will hear. Secondly, we route that also to my headphones because I obviously need to be able to hear what my guests are talking. And lastly, we then route the entire thing to um, our live studio track, which then gets picked up by the Restream Live Studios microphone and people are able to hear uh, what I'm doing on my computer. In case you have any questions about my specific Clubhouse setup, feel free to ask me down there in the comments. In case you're not understanding voice meter properly, make sure to maybe watch one or two uh, of the voice meter basics tutorials. They are super helpful and they definitely helped me when I started with voice meter. So let's get back to that camera. And with that setup done, we can simply use the Restream Live Studio to start our live stream right out of our web browser and go live with our Clubhouse integration. If you want to learn more about how easy it is to go live using the Restream Live Studio, make sure to either check our playlist we did about that up there 
or go to the Restream website and just try it yourself. In fact, if you sign up for a Restream account using my link down there in the video description, you will get a $10 Restream credit in case you want to upgrade to a premium account. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. I hope this video helped you. In case it did, please make sure to let me know by smashing that like button and maybe consider subscribing. We are on the end card. You can now click two videos here. I would be super happy to see you in another video, which is one of those videos currently on the end screen. All right, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. Thanks for watching, bye.